Good morning, Topeka High School, and welcome back to another great school year. It is one that's for the books and one that doesn't necessarily look quite the same as we thought it would. But regardless, we are so glad that you have returned to the halls of Troy. It's been seven months since you left us if you are returning students on March the 6th for spring break. And who would have thought that it would be a full seven months before we would get you back in the halls of Troy? But you're here. So welcome. We are so happy, as I said, to have you here. And now we want to share a little bit of information to make sure that this year is just as successful as possible. For those who don't know me, my name's Rebecca Morrissey, and I'm the proud principal of this beautiful school. And in a moment, you're going to meet my new associate principal, Mr. Danny Ackerman, as we have some information to share with you. I first want to talk a little bit about our school. We already know that this school, beautiful in its architecture, beautiful in its tradition, which is something we value, is also a very diverse place. And as a place that is diverse in every way possible, we value that diversity. And we want to make sure that you experience that and that you know that what you bring to the table that is uniquely yours is something that we both appreciate and want to get to know about. As we talk a lot about our mission and the motto and the things that, that keep us doing business here every day as students and staff, I want to point you to our mission statement. We want to be able to engage Trojans in the highest quality learning every day. That looks a little different right now. Teachers are working to ensure that the three times that they have you in front of them every week are quality instruction. You will need to work with us as we learn how to make that time the best it can be. But what we need most from you is we need you to do your part the rest of the day to do the things we need you to do so that the 40 minutes and the 51 minutes that we have you are successful. We want to prepare you for college and career. This time will pass quickly. Seniors, May is so close. And even if you're a freshman, the next three years and eight months are going to go faster than you think. So help us prepare you for what it is you want to do when you walk out the door. That's not something you want to wait and decide at the last minute. Most of all, we want to inspire you every day to honor the traditions I just talked about, to find new ways to share those traditions and maybe develop new ones in the middle of COVID and this crisis, and to celebrate that diversity which makes us to peak a high and which brings so many people to this beautiful school every day who don't necessarily get to come because they live in our attendance area. Most of all, as you traverse the space this year, whether it's from home through a Zoom, whether it's involved in activities and clubs, please find a way to get involved because you truly can find it in the halls of Troy. These next four years, three years, two years, or less than one are about you connecting to something that you will take with you the rest of your life. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Ackerman and we're gonna share some information with you that will help you be successful. Hello Topeka High, my name is Danny Ackerman, the new Associate Principal. Uh, I want to go over our COVID response uh, policies that we want students to follow in classes and in the hallways here at Troy. So first of all, in the hallways, I'm the guy that's on the intercom system all the time telling you where to go and what to do. So just make sure you stay to the right and you maintain six foot of distance when possible in the hallways. Please follow the arrows that are on the stairwells so you can go up and down correctly. Do not stop, do not stand, do not congregate in the halls and get right to class uh, when you get here. Uh, when you are in the classroom, make sure that you follow the teacher's instructions and you wear your mask at all times. You need to use hand sanitizer when you enter and exit the building and you must sit in an assigned seat. It's very important that you sit according to a seating chart that the teacher has provided. Uh, make sure that you're using protective equipment and please assist the teacher uh, if you can with uh, cleaning at the end of the hour. Uh, when you arrive at school, uh, whenever that is, whether you're A group or B group, make sure that you enter at Western or Main entrance and you must have a mask uh, in order to enter the building. Your temperature will be checked when you first arrive. So if you come in the morning, it's going to be checked. And if you first come in the afternoon, it's going to be checked uh, for those that haven't been here yet. Uh, you can enter the building at 715, but you are required to go to the cafeteria until 730 when you can be released to go to uh, the classroom when the teachers are there. So again, when you get here at 7.15, you're going to be required to be in the cafeteria until 7.30. Once 7.30 uh, arrives, you can go uh, visit with your teachers and get help if, if necessary. The group in the afternoon that comes, you cannot be in the building until 11.35. Uh, make sure that you don't try to come too early because you won't have anywhere to go and we won't let you in the building because we have to get the other group out. All right. Uh, when you do come to the cafeteria, 
make sure that you sit in the designated areas. You cannot move chairs. You cannot go congregate with other individuals. Uh, report to your first class again at 7.30. Uh, you need to follow the entrance and exits because we have a, a specific entrance and a specific exit. Uh, we do have several uh, different things going on. So A group, when you come for lunch, your lunch is 10.50 to 11.20. You can grab and go your lunch and you can leave or you can sit in the cafeteria, eat your lunch, and then when you're finished, then you're allowed to leave. However, all A group students need to vacate the building by 1125. Uh, B group students, when you come, again, don't come too early, uh, just because we won't have anywhere for you to go and we're trying to transition the A group out. But uh, 1130 is the time that you should shoot for to get here. Uh, your lunch is 1130 to 12 approximately, and 1205 is when your first class of the day starts. Uh, when you get to the end of the school day, make sure that you vacate the building uh, as soon as possible. So whenever your end of the day is, that's when you need to leave the building. You'll have five or ten minutes only to, to clear the building, okay? So be listening to all the announcements, be listening to the adults in the hallways, and just respond uh, to them by going where you need to go, and this is all going to work out. Thank you. Hey Trojan Nation, this is Mr. Hayes. I am the Division I principal here at Topeka High School and I serve all students, but more importantly those students whose last names start A through D. I've got a great team that I work with. The team starts with Misty James. She is our secretary. Ladies and gentlemen, she'll be the person in Division I and Division II that you'll go to if you've got, if you came to school late and you need to bring an excuse, your parents will call in for attendance purposes and so forth and so on, setting up meetings with the assistant principals of the counselors and that kind of thing. So she's great, great person to get to know. Another important team member in Division I is your academic counselor, Ms. Pat Fordowick. She's the person who will help you in any regard with regards to your academic piece and she'll work with you all throughout your four years. Another very important person in our division is Miss Deb Fallon, our social counselor. So she'll help you with any kinds of needs outside of academics, um, social, emotional, those kinds of things. Go see Miss Fallon, she's great. Another very important person in our division is Miss uh, Norella Minos. She's one of our social workers. I share her with Mr. Frost in Division Two. She's a great person to go to as well if for any kind of assistance uh, you might need. So, great to see everybody back at Topeka High School. Uh, looking forward to getting to know all of the people in my division. And don't ever hesitate to reach out to me for any kind of help or assistance. All right, Trojan Nation, I'm going to speak to you a little bit about our Troy Standards. The Troy Standards is an acronym for Trojan Best, Respect, Ownership, and Your Success. These are the guiding principles that everyone at Topeka High School lives by every single day. When we talk about the Troy Standards, we place everything within that context. And not only that, but we expect everyone, not just students, but teachers and administrators and even parents, to apply the Trojan Standards, the Troy Standards, to themselves every single day. We're going to take a few moments now to go into more specifics about the Troy Standards, and it starts with Trojan Best. Trojan Best. When we talk about Trojan Best, we truly mean Trojan Best, meaning live by your best in all capacities as a student, as a teacher, as a, an administrator. Be truthful. Bring those materials to class. Follow directions. Follow the instructions by your teachers. Follow the dress code. Listen appropriately and listen to everybody. Practice the kinds of hygiene now in terms of uh, everything in COVID related that uh, applies to you. Return everything to class promptly, uh, meaning your schoolwork, yourself, and those kinds of things. Be a great listener and be appreciative of this fantastic building that we uh, get to attend every single day. Hey Trojans, I um, wanted to introduce the Division II team. My name is Mr. Matt Frost. I'm the Division Principal. Uh, we serve students, last names E through K. We have a couple of really um, helpful and dynamic people within our division that uh, serve as a great team and support for me and for you as well. Miss Alicia Rivera is our social worker. 
Miss Norella Munoz is also one of our social workers. Um, and we have Misty James in the office who uh, Mr. Hayes already mentioned is our secretary who takes care of a lot of the behind the scenes information and activity that we have to uh, it, we have to have in order to operate as a division. Uh, we also have Miss Angela Lewis, who is your academic counselor, who will be very important to you over the next um, however many years you're, you have left before you graduate. She is in charge of your academic schedules, your uh, transcripts, all the things that you may have questions about. You can certainly come to anybody within the division, but if it's academic related, uh, we're going to refer you to Miss Lewis and we'll take care of those issues as they come. <clears throat> So Mr. Hayes introduced the Troy standards that we operate under at Topeka High School and I want to speak for just a moment on uh, respect, the R. Uh, the R in Troy that we're going to talk about is respect. Uh, this goes for all the things that you would normally think about with respect, talking about um, being respectful to others in the hallways or your teachers or uh, anybody that you come into contact with at Topeka High. But in these times, it's all, it also stands for respect when it comes to other people's personal space, um, your behavior in the hallways. We also ask that you respond appropriately to conflict. If there's any sort of conflict that you witness or that you're involved in, please bring it to a division principal or to one of your teachers. Um, respect the people and the property within this building and on the outside of this building. You represent Topeka High whenever you are here and whenever you're gone. So just make sure you're being respectful of other people and their property. Um, <clears throat> your language in the hallways, in your classrooms, uh, anywhere that you are on social media, be respectful in the ways that you represent yourself and the way that you re represent Topeka High. And in light of what we're going through right now, be respectful of um, space in the bathrooms or using the mirrors in the bathrooms. Just make sure you're giving people their social distance. Hello Trojans. My name is Ryan Arnold. I'm the Division Three principal. Uh, my division covers students with the last name L through RI. Uh, I'd also like to introduce you to some members of my division team. Uh, first is Autumn Wyant. She is the academic counselor, and so she's the person that you come to for scheduling issues. Uh, you have questions about college, about careers. Uh, she's a good person to come and get information from. Uh, another person that is active in our division is Ms. Jalen Beatty, and she is our social worker. Uh, she's the person you can talk to if you've got any kind of issues going on in your life, or you just need someone to talk to, um, and she's located up on the second floor. The last person I'd like to introduce you to is Ms. Maria Denny. Uh, she is also a social worker that works within Division 3, and so she is another resource for you. The next letter in the TROY acronym is ownership. For ownership, we expect you to clean up after yourself and take ownership of your activities in the cafeteria, in the gym, uh, particularly cafeteria, uh, pick it up after yourself after you eat. Um, own your own actions, walk away from drama, uh, be in control of that, handle all conflicts appropriately, which again, Bring in an administrator, bring in a teacher. If there's some kind of issue, you want to avoid getting into a conflict that would result in getting suspended from school. Um, take ownership of your coursework. That means following along with Tyler and making sure that you know attendance is accounted for correctly, that the assignments that you've turned in have been um, graded correctly. Um, so keep track of your grades. Um, own where you're supposed to sit in the cafeteria. Uh, we've already gone over the different rules for that, but uh, take ownership of that place. Uh, when you're asked to put away personal electronic devices such as cell phones, we ask you to take ownership of that behavior as well. Uh, if you find an item that is lost, um, take that to the divi nearest division so we can get it returned to the rightful owner. And also, take ownership of your actions in the hallway, and that includes things like public displays of affection, PDA. Um, especially in the time of COVID, we are definitely not allowing things like that. Um, we need to just take ownership of our actions, get to class, no PDA at all. Good morning, Trojans. My name is Laura Lyons and I'm the Division Four Assistant Principal. I have the students with last names that begin with R-O through Z and I have a wonderful team helping all of us to be successful in Division Four. Ms. Althea Henderson, as Mr. Uh, Mr. Arnold mentioned, is our division secretary. She's been out for a little while, but she'll be back soon, and she's helping us be sure that everyone's attendance is as correct as possible. She helps with other things too, like bus passes, and just answering general questions. 
The rest of my team is Ms. Heather Prothy, your academic counselor. Her office is just on the hall from mine in room 337, so come and visit us if you have any questions. She will help you with everything academic. So any questions about credits or classes or schedules, Ms. Prothy is the person who will answer your question. Mr. Greg Fallon has also been a part of our team for a very long time. He's our social counselor and he's a wonderful resource. If you have any questions or needs that have to do with bullying or anything as far as concerns about school and how things are going, he has access to lots of resources that will help and support you in being successful as a Trojan. And Ms. Maria Denny is our social worker for Division 4 and she is an incredible kind soul who will support you if you have needs that um, have to do with anything related to being successful. She serves a very specific group of students. Um, many of them know her well and she's a wonderful resource. This team makes Division 4 an incredibly successful place. The Y in Troy stands for your success. Your success in the halls of Troy means remaining on task while you're in class, being focused on the and engaging in the things that your teachers really want you to do while you're working on their tasks. Participating and paying attention is part of remaining on task. And right now engaging even when you're on Zoom is a really important part of being successful as a Trojan in the classroom. Completing your work on time, I think that that's something that everyone knows to do. Completing work on time is an important work skill. But in addition to that, it's really important for you to do your work with your best effort. Putting your best foot forward and demonstrating the learning that you've accomplished in your classes is one of the most important things we can do to master really good work habits for the world of work, as well as it represents you well as a Trojan. In the halls, be sure you display your ID or your hall, hall pass if someone asks you for those documents. It just helps us know that you're going to the place that you should be and makes us confident that everyone's moving to the right location. Also, if you hear about unsafe behavior, no matter the location, whether it's around campus or in the halls or in a restroom, whether that means that someone is in a situation where they're unsafe or it's an unsafe behavior that's causing another person to be unsafe, please report that. We're really proud of Trojans who will go the extra mile and report things and turn in lost items. All of those things have to do with making sure that everyone here in the halls of Troy are safe. Finally, it's really important to keep the cafeteria clean, the grounds, and pay attention to respecting the building. So what does it look like to respect the building? Reporting if someone is um, dropping trash, being the person who picks that up. And in the cafeteria and common areas, to pick up those things just to make sure that our, beauty, our building stays beautiful. It's the responsibility of all of us to be sure that the halls of Troy are clean and neat and represent us well. And those things trans translate to your success. All right, freshmen, there are some very specific pieces of material and information that apply to you. First of all, Trojan time. You've attended Trojan time now for almost a month, so you're kind of getting a feel for what that means and what, that, what you do during Trojan time. But I'm going to go over some things a little more specifically. First of all, use your time wisely. Because this is a time where you, if you apply it very well, then you can use it to your success to uh, uh, make things even better for you. Get that, get those assignments done. If you're not getting a, a, a C, then um, uh, strive for that C. If you're not getting the B, if you're not getting the A, keep striving to get those better grades through Trojan time. Reach out to those teachers you need extra help with. So use Trojan time to connect with those teachers that uh, you might need to ask a question, uh, might need to follow up on an assignment. Get those tests made up. Sometimes we miss school, we miss uh, chances to take our tests during the, the actual time. Trojan time is a great time to make up those tests. You're going to be doing lots of other things too. You're going to be doing link crew activities. You're going to be uh, uh, experiencing Naviance, which is the um, kind of the college career ready uh, uh, program that you'll be using to set goals for yourself and to kind of learn about yourself and, and uh, learn about pathways to uh, college and or career down the, down the line. So take advantage of these opportunities. Trojan time is extremely important. Second of all, soon you'll be getting a, an ID badge. Get used to it. It's something we want you to carry around all the time. When you're in the real world, guess what? You have an ID badge. 
We're going to, at, at times, ask for you to see it, so it needs to pop out real quickly. This is a safety thing, ladies and gentlemen. It's a way to ensure that uh, we know who's in our building at all times. Guess what, freshmen? You get to stay on campus at all times. The only time you leave campus is when you have an excuse to actually leave campus. Otherwise, plan to stay. Hasn't been that bad uh, these first few days being back in the building, so keep that good work up. But just know that freshmen, you stay on campus unless you're excused off campus uh, by a parent, guardian, teacher, or otherwise. And last but not least, our counselors have a great website. And that, on that website, they have access to a Google Classroom set up for you, freshmen. Very specific information for you. Um, so I encourage you to go take a look at the counseling website go to the Google Classroom and uh, take, a check, take a look at all those uh, things that are on there for your information. Uh, I'm sure it would be valuable for you to, to do so pretty quick. Thank you very much. Good luck to this year. And so Topeka High, you've learned a lot already about the things we need to do to be safe during this COVID uh, crisis situation, whatever it is you want to call it. But I just want you to know that we want you here. However, if you cannot comply with the things that we need you to do that keep people safe, and not just you, but keep your teachers safe and your families safe, uh, remote is always an option. We do have remote students who attend only through Zoom. So if you want to be here in person, make sure you do the things that keep you safe. Otherwise, remote is always an option. Thanks. It's always a great day to be a Trojan. Bloopers. All right. We're rolling. So. Um, I'm already on take two. I reflect on our school as well. Hang on. Do not use this footage <laughs> for anything ever.